Everywhere you turn right now, you hear about food shortages and supply chain issues. Because of this, many of us are actively moving towards taking food security into our own hands. Food security is a bit of an abstract concept though, like what does it actually mean? You can think of food security literally, that is securing or protecting your food supply, but that is still a bit vague in terms of how you could take steps towards that and it also feels reactionary rather than preventative. Another way to approach it is as food stability or maintaining a steady food supply in the face of disturbance. Disturbances being anything that upsets different parts or links of your food supply chain. Because the typical supply chain is long and interconnected, there are many places where disturbances may occur. They can happen in production, transportation, processing, distribution, and access. Thinking of it as stability is more intuitive to me because the theoretical concept of stability can be broken down into three aspects, the three R's, that can actually be measured moving from theory to practice. The three R's of stability are resistance, resilience, and redundancy. Resistance is the ability to not be affected by change or pressure. Resilience is the ability to recover from or to adjust to change or pressure. And redundancy is preventing a single component from causing whole system failure through duplication. People normally use a ball to visually distinguish between these three terms, but I'm not normal. So I'm going to use a rock. Here I have a very large rock and I want to keep a rock in this spot. Because this rock is so big and heavy, it would take a lot of force to move this rock. This rock is very resistant to change. However, if something powerful enough to push this rock did occur, and it rolled the rock in an uphill direction, the rock would likely roll back down to where it is. It is resilient to uphill forces, but if you were to roll it downhill, it would take an even greater force to roll it back to where it was. So keeping a rock in this spot isn't resilient to downhill forces. But then again, I didn't say I wanted this rock here. I said I wanted a rock here and I have a lot of rocks or I have rock redundancy. Okay, so now that we understand what the three R's mean in terms of rocks and stability in general, what does it mean in terms of how we plan for food shortages? The simplest of the three would be redundancy. To have a redundant food supply, you can find many different farms to buy from in case one farm doesn't produce enough or has a crop failure. You can plant more than you need of the same vegetable or different varieties of the same vegetable in case some varieties do not do as well or if there are losses due to pests or adverse weather conditions. You can have redundancy in storage. We all know the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket but you also may not want to store all your meat in one freezer or even rely on freezing. Instead, pressure can and smoke some of your meat in case power failures spoiling your freezer meat. Redundancy is expensive though. Resources take up time and space. With limited resources, keep in mind that your chain is only as strong as your weakest link. Redundancy is most effective when fortifying weak links or places where many chains come together. A simple example of resistance is growing your own food. If you aren't reliant on the global supply chain, then you are resistant to global food shortages. You can also stop consuming a particular type of food that is very prone to crop failure or has a long supply chain. Another example of resistance would be using cover like a hoop house to protect your crops from bad weather like late frosts or hail. If you get a lot of a particular type of pest in your garden like squash bugs, you can plant more crops that are resistant to that type of pest like peppers and less of crops that are targets like cucumbers. The last R is resiliency. If you live in a drought prone area, you can achieve resiliency by planting crops that can tolerate drought. You can also use plants that grow fast and recede like dandelions or produce several crops a year like ever bearing strawberries. One vegetable that we find to be very resilient to just about anything is kale. You can basically chop it back to the soil and it will grow back. Choosing vegetable varieties, seed, and wild foods acclimated to your local environment is another example of a resilient food source. But the best way to plan for food shortages is by stepping back and looking at your food supply system in its entirety. By doing so, you can see which parts have the most connections or the weakest links and therefore need the most effort to make sure you can use the three R's to ensure you have a stable food supply.